All right, so you're going to do a new file. This one is going to be 10 by 10 inches. Make sure that it's inches and not pixels. We want it to be a square icon. You should have a collection of images um, and you can just start adding those. I'm going to start with this brain here because that was one of my images. Now remember, we're taking these images and we are putting them together. We're not just pasting them on. Um, so you need to manipulate them, which means you're going to need to rasterize the images. So you go to the layer tool, right click it, rasterize, and then you can do things like erase, draw on the image, and manipulate it generally. Um, so uh, I'm going to just draw in there. I'm using the smoothing tool so I can really make sure that that uh, you know, looks the way that I want it to look. And Remember, the point of this is to kind of see what you can do after taking, um, you know, the first course, Digital Palette 1. So I want to see things like, you know, being able to use the magic uh, wand and erase a background and put a background inside a background. Um, I also want to see a variety of icons and images used here. So right now I have a clip art of a brain and a heart. I'm also using the Nebula from NASA. Um, use the gradient tool. Use the uh, cutting tool. Use the lasso tools. You know, use all the different kinds of tools um, that you can remember that um, you know to create this single image from several different um, symbols or icons to create one um, cohesive icon. So here I'm just uh, manipulating the heart, kind of figuring out what I want to do. If I want to add a drop shadow or not, I um, decided I don't want a drop shadow. Um, what I want to do though is have like a rainbow coming out from the nebula. Uh, I want to change that so that it shows up better. You know, so using all the different tools um, that we learned from Digital Palette 1, I want to see evidence of lots and lots of tools being used. Also, you want to make sure that you are using the elements and principles uh, of art. So the elements and principle is going to be line, color, shape, space, value, texture. Um, I'm missing one. I don't remember what it is. The whole, uh, you're also going to want to use um, the principles of design. So balance, emphasis, movement, rhythm, pattern, unity, variety, all those different kinds. You need to have at least four elements of art. You need to have at least three principles of design. So here I have color. I mean, I'm actually using a rainbow. Um, I have value in the heart. Um, I know the gradient is showing up a little weird from my recording tool. Um, I have emphasis where, you know, the perspective of the rainbow um, is pointing to both the brain and to the heart, creating emphasis in both of those. So you want to make sure that you are adding those principles. Um, continue to experiment with the tools. You know, it's like maybe I want to use the uh, smudge tool to sort of fill that gap, but I decided against it. Um, so I just kind of filled it in just a little bit more. Also, the background. Make sure that the background isn't just a white, plain, boring old background. You know, minimally add a gradient back there, you know? Um, I'm going to actually have that be part of my imagery because I wanted my imagery to have clouds in it. So that's how I'm doing the background. Um, so I'm going to do sort of a sky um, and then paint in some clouds with the, uh, the paintbrush. All right, so as you can see here, I have um, you know, the brain, the nebula, the rainbow, the heart, and the clouds. That's five different um, images, all that represent five different parts of uh, my personality, of my character, um, five different character traits that are put together in a cohesive icon that they all look like they fit together. And that's really what we're looking for. Um, we're also looking for evidence of the elements and principles of art 
and that you know how to use the tools of Photoshop. We want to make sure that you actually know what you're doing here. Um, so be sure that you are, you know, flexing your muscles here in Photoshop, uh, so to speak, um, because that is part of this assignment is um, just remembering what we can do. All right, here's my final product. Um, that's what it looks like. I know yours is going to look amazing.